Welcome to part four of my five-part series of videos entitled A Guide to Switching to Linux, Pop! OS Edition. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to encrypt your home folder on Pop! OS. I know if you're doing a clean install of Pop! OS, it will offer a full disk encryption option, which is actually better than just home folder. But unfortunately, that's not an option if you're dual booting, which is the case of this guide. So I'm going to be showing you how to encrypt just the home folder in cases like dual booting where full disk encryption is not an option. But without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, since Pop! OS actually already has EcryptFS pre-installed, which is the backend that we're going to be using to encrypt our home folder, the first thing you're going to do is go to Settings, and perfect, we're actually already on the users page. So I'm going to go unlock this, and then add a user. And by the way, this needs to be administrator, and you'll understand why I'm adding a user in a second. But I'm just going to call this temporary user. Let's just give it the username temp and we can go at it. And now let's log out and then log into our temporary user. And if you did not set a password when you created the account, you'll be prompted to do so at first login. So let me go do that. Since this is only a temporary user, you can make it something weak like temp one, two, three, four, and then type it again. All right, then we have to go through this initial setup real quick. All right, then the next thing you're gonna do is go into terminal. Let me maximize this for you. And by the way, I'll have all the commands in the description. So you're going to run sudo ecrypt-fs-migrate-home space-u and your username, which is what shows up here before your computer's name when you're logged into your account on terminal. This is what you'll have punched into username and not full name when you created your account, probably when you installed Pop! OS. But I'm going to hit enter punch in the password for our temporary user account. And whoops, looks like I spelled my command wrong. It's supposed to be ecryptfs, not ecryptfs. But I'm gonna hit enter. There we go, now it works. So now it's asking for the password for our main user account that we're gonna be encrypting the home folder on. And then it'll go encrypt our home folder. So now how long this takes will depend on how much data you have stored in your home folder. But for me, it won't take that long since this is just a temporary virtual machine installation of Pop! OS that I haven't really done anything with, other than for the purposes of making the videos in this series. And by the way, I did not speed that up. That was real time. It completed in the time that you've been listening to my voice. But anyway, now that that's done, we can now close out of our terminal and log out of our temporary account, and then log back into our main account. All right, now we can go to settings and back to our users page and unlock this. And then we can go delete that temporary user account. And we can go delete the files. And now one last step, we actually need to remove the unencrypted backup that ecryptfs created of our home folder just in case anything went wrong in the encryption process. So we're gonna have to go to other locations, computer, home, and then we should find our username and then a bunch of random characters. It's not the one with the home symbol on it. So what we have to do to be able to delete that is we have to go back to the root of our internal drive and then double click on the root folder. It'll ask us to punch in our password twice. And then it should bring us into the root folder, which is actually empty. And then we're gonna go back to home. This should change to administrator root. Now you'll notice that the home symbol has disappeared from our now encrypted home folder. And this with the random characters is the unencrypted backup. So we're gonna delete that. Yes, we are gonna permanently delete it. We want that gone off our drive and it'll go delete it. So now this'll take a little while, so I'll speed this up. And now once that's done, we can close out of our files app and we are done. And that's how to encrypt your home folder on Pop! OS. So thanks for watching. If you liked this video, found it was helpful, hit the like button, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. And in my next video, I'll be going over removing Windows from a dual boot with Pop! OS. So stay tuned for that video.